Welcome to our series on graphs and charts. What we're going to discover here today is the tree map. Not as commonly seen or used as, say, a line graph or a column graph or a pie chart, uh, tree maps, though, happen to be uh, interesting visual analytical tools. Now, through tree maps, we can see patterns. Uh, we can also see hierarchies through rectangles divided into regions. Now, in our example here, we have our ideal day as compared to our actual day expressed through tree maps. And what we see here in your ideal day, about less than 25% of your ideal day is spent working. That is going to classes, studying, and attending your tutoring job. That aside, the remainder of your ideal day is, is uh, split fairly equally between recreational activities and sleep. If we were to contrast that to your actual day, what we find is about 10% of your time is spent doing recreational activities such as eating and tennis. Quarter of your time is spent sleeping, no naps now, just your nightly sleep. And the bulk of your day, your actual day, is spent working. About 65% of your time is spent doing the combined classes, studying, and your tutoring job. Now, through this tree map, we see the hierarchies. We see the ideal day, we see your actual day, and within that hierarchy, we see the sub-hierarchies of recreation, sleep, work, and then the subcategories within each. How do we go about to create a tree map? Let me show you the underlying data up above. Now, in this example, we've got your top hierarchy, which is your ideal day. And within that, we have the categories of recreation, sleep, and work. So to set up your data table, you have three columns. In this case, we have our activity, our category, and the number of hours. That is the number of ideal hours within your day. Within the ideal day category, you have three main activities. The three subcategories, recreation, sleep, and work. And then if you further subdivide recreation, sleep, and work, we have the remaining number of activities as categorized within recreation, sleep, and work. So if we were to sum up the ideal hours within your ideal day, that is the total number of hours within recreation, sleep, and work that consist of your ideal day, we will find that the sum down below here is equal to 24. Likewise, if you add up all the different activities that comprise your ideal day, that too should equal 24. So this all makes sense now, okay? We do the same thing for your actual day. Of course, the allocation of your hours will be different. But same concept and same format setup, okay? Now, highlight the range in order to create your tree map. Go into Insert and select Chart down below here. Once you click that, this screen will pop up. And interestingly, you know, in your recommended charts area, the tree map is already populated. And that's because you've already set up your data range to reflect what a tree map should be. Now, if that doesn't happen, you can also go into your Charts tab up here. Go down into the More category, and the third down is also the tree map. And at that point, you can go right on ahead and click, click on Insert. Now, we've already got that created, and your output would look something just like that. Okay? Now, again, for tree maps, you can go ahead, create your own examples, define your hier hierarchies, define your subcategories. Um, but here is an example, and so go ahead learn it, uh, and have fun. We'll see you next time.